ORD with 1 is always equal to 1. Now anything ANDed with 1 is always equal to what it's being, uh, what the original variable is. And this is our simplified equation. So what we get is a single three input AND gate with inverted inputs. Well, whoops, what am I doing? Single inverted OR gate with inverted inputs. So what that looks like a negative OR, so that can also be replaced with a single three input NAND gate. So where this is not A, OR, not C, OR not B. And this is not A and B and C. OK? Because yeah, remember, our negative OR is equivalent to our NAND. OK? Because then this is just De Morgan's theorem in reverse. OK? Because this whole thing, A and B and C with a complementation, can be written as the complement of the variables, the complement of the Boolean sum of the variables. Okay, let's do um, let's do a cool example. Uh, remember uh, when we were talking about the exclusive OR? Um, you know, there's there's always a symbol. There's a symbol for AND, which is multiplication. There's a symbol for an OR. There's a symbol for a NOT. There's no real symbol for an exclusive OR. So what the exclusive OR is, where X is the output, it's A and not B, or not A and B. Because if you think about that, what is the exclusive OR? A, B, well, it's high only when a and B are different. So when is it high? When A is 1 and B is 0. So not B would be 1. So that's 1 right there. Or when A is 0 and B is 1. So not A would be 1 and B would be 1, giving us a 1. Okay? So that's the exclusive OR. But now, check this out. We want to know what the exclusive NOR is. A, B, let's call this Y. So the exclusive NOR, well, it's the negation of the exclusive OR. So that's the exclusive OR. Here's the negation of it. OK, so how do you do this using De Morgan's theorem and some of our um, some of our laws here? So you can split this thing up this way using De Morgan's theorem. Using it again. But what happens with a double negation? OK, so now we've got the perfect FOIL thing. First outer, inner, last. There's our first terms. Here's our outer terms. Here's our inner terms. Here's our last terms. 
Well, check these guys out right here. Not A and A, and B and not B. Those are zeros. So anything ORed with a zero is that is that thing it's ORed with. So basically, just get rid of the zeros. You get a situation where not A and not B or B and A, which have our exclusive NOR gate. Makes perfect sense because I'm going to write this up here. So what you get is not A and not B. So 0 or 0, excuse me, A0, not A would be 1. B0, not B would be 1. So 1 and 1 is 1. And that's an OR, so you give us our high value. And now we've got A and B, where they're both high. And this would give us a 1. There you go. So that's how the exclusive OR works and the exclusive NOR works. They're basically, there's no symbol for exclusive OR, nor is there any symbol for exclusive NOR. They're a combination of gates. And that's how a lot of gates are, because our NAND, if I remember right, our NAND, A, B, where this is Z, Z is equal to A and B negated. Okay, and according to Morgan's theorem, not A or not B, which is equivalent to a negative or, which is equivalent to an or gate with our inputs negated. So I think those are pretty cool examples, the exclusive OR and the exclusive NOR. Let's call that example three. Okay, so practice these things, and when you're done practicing them, practice them more. Um, there is 4.8, 4.9, 4.10, 4.11, and then a bunch of review questions there, and then there's our related problems at the end. I'll walk through the steps that they have, pretty good descriptions on what they use to simplify these things. All right, we are going to move on to sum of products and the product of sums.